Hello, collectors, and welcome to the Hobby Palooza 2024 preview show where you are going to get an exclusive sneak peek at all the 25 hours of programming I have scheduled for Hobby Palooza 2024 to be occurring Saturday, Sunday, June 22nd, and 23rd. In addition to a preview of all the shows that are going to be involved, I also have information on the official charity of Hobby Palooza, how you can start donating now to be eligible for the prize drawing as well as an exclusive giveaway. So stick around. Welcome to Four Collectors. All right, so you heard that right in the intro. I not only scheduled 24 hours, I ended up with an extra. I sent out quite a few invites to start things off and did not expect I would get so many people to say yes and ended up uh, with 25 hours of programming, but that'll, that'll work. We'll add an extra show late Saturday night and uh, just have fun with it. So uh, to start things off, though, I do want to give information on the official charity for this event. And just so you know, from this moment, when I show this video with the information of how to donate, you can start sending in donations right away. They will be tracked, recorded, and will count for the giveaways that are involved. So from this moment that you hear this all the way up until we get to the final hour of the Hobby Palooza event, you can be eligible to win. So that's all the way up until uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday, June 23rd. And so here we go. Let's uh, take a look at that informational video. The official charity of Hobby Palooza 2024 is Signatures for Soldiers. Since 2014, it has been their mission to help serve those who served our nation when it called on them and who now need our help. They work in cooperation with other charitable organizations to assist veterans with disabilities, homeless veterans, and existing members of the armed forces and their families who need extra support. Their efforts have been documented in Forbes and Beckett magazines. They will be operating a booth at the National, which is their biggest fundraising event of the year, and as it includes a charity auction with the support of Heritage Auction House. For more information, visit SignaturesForSoldiers.com. To donate to Signatures for Soldiers for our Hobby Palooza event, please use PayPal Goods and Services to send your money. Last year, Mike's PayPal account was frozen by too many people using friends and family. I will happily donate the PayPal P myself to make your donation whole. Send it to jekoffma at yahoo.com. That was J-E-C-O-F-F-M-A at yahoo.com. For every $10 donated, you will have an entry to one of the pieces of artwork created by Scott of Reindeer Studios or Eric Forleaf that they'll be making live on their Hobby Palooza show. Additionally, we at Fort Collectors have 50 exclusive quad auto channel cards available to the first 50 people who donate and request one. In the notes section with your PayPal payment, at a minimum, please include your YouTube handle. If you want to get one of the autographed channel cards, also include your mailing address. Every dollar collected will be presented by check to Signatures for Soldiers at the National in Cleveland. Thank you for supporting this worthy cause. All right, so like I said in that video, feel free to start donating right away using PayPal. Please use goods and services. I don't want my account frozen, and I will happily donate that 3% fee. So now let's get started with our show preview. I put together a slideshow with all of the shows involved. So here we go. Here is our logo for Hobby Palooza 2024. And our first show at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, June 22nd, is Hobby Hotline, led by John Newman. We do have confirmed Dr. Jim Beckett will be joining him. 
and uh, possibly uh, Uncle Rich Klein there or Brody or possibly some others. Uh, maybe uh, we'll find out uh, specifics as we get closer to the event. But that is our opening show. Up next at 11, we've got Theo Clemente Collector leading a group of YouTubers talking about the upcoming National 2024. At noon, we have got Two Guys Draw One Hobby Legend with the guys from Two Guys One Hobby, Wade Boggs Fan, and Don's Field of Dreams as our hosts to banter about while Reindeer Studios, Scott, our best friend out there, as well as Eric, great community member for Leaf, uh, both do live art artwork during the show. And the subject of this year's artwork will be none other than Mickey Mantle himself, hobby legend. So there we go. That should be fun to watch. And at 1 p.m., we've got Mike, Junk Wax Hero, with his friend Oliver, who's appeared a few times on his channel, talking about Junk Wax cards and possibly more, depending on what the uh, subject du jour is at the moment. Uh, could make uh, the conversation vary a little bit off that course. But up next, 2 p.m., we've got Diamond Yard Sports Cards leading a conversation with Chuck Northside Guy and Don's Field of Dreams, talking about their favorite cards through the decades, uh, talking vintage baseball cards. Yep, at, next after that, we have got Hall of Fame commenter Mike Petty with Orlando at a collector's dream with their topic of staying alive in the hobby. If any of you have seen Mike Petty, uh, you should know that'll be a raucous conversation with lots of great interaction with the chat on that one. So up uh, next after that, we have got Danny Black with his Hobby News Daily guests to be determined. Uh, more information later, but uh, that will be our next show occurring at 4 p.m. Eastern time. After that, at 5, we have got None other than Mr. Mangini, John Mangini, bantering back and forth with his good friend Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards with their subject here of get off my lawn, as in talking, as in old men fed up with things going on uh, around the hobby. So uh, that should be a fun conversation there. Then I am leading a discussion with Dan's Vintage Baseball PC. And Mark Hoyle's Impossible Dream, where we're going to talk about pre-war oddball cards. That would be sets outside of the standard T206, T205, uh, the uh, Gaudis, the Playballs, and the Diamond Stars that you see all over the place. And, you know, delving into a little more obscure issues in the pre-war years. After that, we have got Ray from Philly talking about the future of the Sports Card Hall of Fame that recently ended its voting and lots of people contributed ideas to what should happen in the future, and he will be ready to reveal them at Hobby Palooza. After that, we have got Cracking Cooperstown, Jake, Legends Never Die, and Dom over at Staven Sports Cards with their regular podcast where they have various topics around Hall of Famers, and this is going to be uh, focused on Hall of Fame autographs for this episode, so that'll be a good one. Up next, we have got Adam, Splendid Sports Cards with Do Vintage Baseball Cards Dylan with their regular show, Turn Back the Clock. Uh, another enjoyable hour with the uh, infectious enthusiasm of Dylan as they talk about uh, vintage baseball cards there at the 9 p.m. hour. And now our bonus show that we added because of getting 25 guests is Hobby Palooza After Hours here with the Because I'm Carlos live stream crew. So I say 25 hours, but who knows how long these guys will go. They are marathon live streamers if there ever was one. 
And, uh, you know, they have uh, fun, sarcastic banter back and forth. Always an enjoyable watch. All right. To kick things off on Sunday morning, we have got autographs, why and how to collect them, led by Card Cutter with his guest lined up, which is Jay of Mojo Sports. So that should be a good one. And up next after that, at 11, we have got the Countdown Crew doing a top five. That would be Silver Jackify, New York Yank Fans 7, and Josh, Rated Rookie. And their specific top five that they'll be looking at is the top five cards that are not part of their top 100, as in their favorite things that aren't necessarily the most valuable. So... So that should be really interesting to see what those guys pull. So looking forward to that. And then we've got Sports Card Nation with John Newman. His guests are still TBD at the moment of this taping uh, with more details to come on that. But he always brings in top-notch guests from all over the hobby community and industry. So who knows what we'll end up with on that one, but it should be a good one. After that, we have got the crew of Off-Centered Hobby Chat for Dummies. That is Dustin, the Sports Card Dad, Flipping Steve, and Neo Cards and Comics with their show that they uh, bring uh, you know, with regularity on their own channels. That is a fun, offbeat uh, conversation between those guys. Uh, should be a great one. And up next after that at 2 p.m. on Sunday... We have got Cajun Cardboard, who is specializes in modern basketball, and he has invited the number two ranked Michael Jordan collector in the world, that is Northeast Sports Cards, and their topic is the Jordan Hierarchy Matters. So there should be some amazing Michael Jordan stuff shown during this hour. That is one to look forward to. Up next, we have got that 70s card show, John Keating, with his smooth voice there leading this discussion that he termed John Stars with Wesker Griff, Ray from Philly, and Mike O. As uh, I had to look up this term because I'd never heard it before. Uh, if you're not familiar, you're not from the Philadelphia area, John apparently is a generic term for people, places, or things that is a local term for Philly. So uh, that should be a fun, sarcastic discussion with that crew. So that should be a fun one there. Uh, next, at 4 p.m. on Sunday, we have got the crew from Spitballing Cards, which is a modern baseball-focused group of guys led by Scotty B. Cards with Filmington. Teapot of you know both market movers and sports card investor fame, as well as uh, the two partners of Blabbin Bout Slabbin. That it would be Chris and Jeff there as part of the crew that does spitballing cards. Up next, we have got everyone's favorite hour of vintage baseball cards, at least according to them. It is Showcase Showdown with Mike, baseball collector, and Chris from Missouri. And they have saved extra special for us their show for Mickey Mantle. That should be an awesome one to see. Uh, you know, who knows how badly Chris will lose on that one, but you never know. There's always hope for the underdog. Up next, we have got Off Topic with Greg and Darren, their regular program they do with a variety of vintage baseball topics. That is Greg of Midlife Sports Cards and Darren of Return to Collecting. After that, we have got a hobby talk with longtime members of the YouTube community, Mike O and Big Scott 35 are going to have a discussion on various hobby topics there and some interaction with the chat, followed by Vintage is King. The show for Alex at Bowman 53 has brought in other vintage collectors, Rocket Rick J18, Mike Sports History Collector, The Drew of Vintage Legacy, and Rick Acosta Dodger Collector, all great vintage collectors and celebrating apparently their love of vintage baseball cards there. 
And the final show of Hobby Palooza is going to be the wrap up show with those of us with four collectors. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Papino Man could not be there for that weekend. There was not a single weekend I could schedule the event for during the summer in which one of us was not of one of us would have to miss. So it ended up being this weekend and the three of out of the four of us will be there for that wrap up show. We will be discussing the event itself, the, some of the highlights as well as wrapping things up with our charity totals, as well as doing the drawing for the prizes of the artwork and uh, anything else that might pop up uh, between now and then. And, you know, will be the final uh, cherry on the top of this Hobby Palooza Sunday. So there you go. That is our preview of Hobby Palooza 2024. I hope all of you make it there to as many hours as you can stand. Uh, it's always lots of fun to have lots of interaction with the chat live. That is something I love about doing live streams and others will as well. And once again, that is Saturday and Sunday, June 22nd and 23rd from the hours of 10 till who knows when Carlos and his crew are done on Saturday. And then 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Sunday. So, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you all at Hobby Palooza. And please get your donations coming in for Signatures for Soldiers, a great cause, and we are happy to support it. So, thank you very much.